All right, guys, we're back now. We got the flight controller ready, and hey, look at that. The top is done. Got a bunch of carbon fiber pieces done just now, so I went and pulled them real quickly. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the motors. Now, look, one of the things that I did differently that I'm going to do differently this time is um, we already know the length of the motors from when we did the uh, HD version. So I've got my different pieces of measurement uh, of, of heat shrink here. This is uh, 35 mil, this is 45 mil, and this is 30 mil. And so what we do know is we know the back motors are going to be 30 mil and we know the front motors are going to be 35 mil. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to do all the motors right now. Let's set the screws aside, but I'm going to do all the motors right now, tin them all. Uh, now that we know what the measurements are, so please make sure if you can get something that's 30 mil uh, or 35 mil, whichever one we're going to be doing. So right now we're going to start with the back ones. Those are going to be 30 mil. So let me just go ahead and put this over here. All right, and basically what you do is you line it up to the bell, and then that's 30 mil. So at least if you follow this pattern, uh, if you line it up, you know that all the wires are always going to be the same length, okay? And that's what we like is symmetrical uh, things here. So there's one motor. That's a back motor, so we'll put that one over here. Let's do the next one. Next back motor. Let me just put this right there, just like that. All right. It's another 30 mil. Now we're gonna put the 30 mil away, and we're gonna go to the front motors, which are 35 mil. And I can't see. I don't know. Whoops. Oh, where's my other motor? Hold on. I've got four motors, but I've only got three sitting here. Is this it? Nope. Hmm. I'm missing motor. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so I don't know what happened to my 30 mil or my 35 mil yellow. It's somewhere here. I've been doing a lot of building today, so I don't know if it just got mixed up or something. So that's why I have this red one. So um, I'm just going to cut these white pieces off because I think the red, the red, um, the red heat shrink is, is a little smaller, so that won't, the white plug won't fit over that. But when I go here, perfect. See, that's 35 right there. So we're going to cut that. Okay, that's a front motor. And then let's open the last front motor. Again, let's get this white piece off here. And then we'll take motor wires run them through just like that and that's our other 35 mil front loader perfect okay so now we'll put our red one away and this is where it's gonna get pretty simple so rather than do one at a time I'm just gonna go ahead like I said I'm gonna strip all four motors and get them all and pretend all of them just so that I can kind of get the motor parts all done at one time okay so there's one two now we'll do the back motors go then we'll get our flux pen bring all the motors in move the move the quad out just a little bit just kind of go over all of them perfect all right now we'll twist them up
and our last one here. Okay, now they're all twisted up, all I'm going to do is just kind of gently just separate the wires and bend them up a little bit. Separate the wires here, bend them up a little bit, bend them up a little bit, and oops, do the same thing here. Just kind of separate them and bend them up a little bit, just like that, okay? Easy to tin that way, so now let me just get the solder and let's just get to tinning very quickly. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, twist it on a little bit more, see some strands coming out on it so I didn't twist it enough, let's do this one. Okay, so now we'll set these aside. Get rid of these little solder balls that kind of fell out there. All right, and now let's get started. So we don't need to mount these, but these wires are a little long. I need to cut these. These are just, these strands are just a tad bit long. You cut those in half, and I'm going to get through that off the bench because I don't want any of that little metal in there. All right, so we know that we have the long ones and we have the short ones, right? So let's look and see. These are the two short ones. These are the two long ones, so let's go ahead and we'll start. And I don't have to bolt these down right now because I already knew the length of the wire. So all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to put them on and angle them, right? So I'm just going to angle it the same direction as the arm. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Do the same on this side, but let me cut these down a little bit. Just want them to be just a little bit, about a mil, mil uh, maybe a mil and a half. And again, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna take it off the table to cut it down because I don't want any of those metal shavings to get caught anything. All right, so that's done. So again, we're gonna go ahead and just solder them at the angle of the arm. So we want. And three. Excellent. Now let's do the back motors. And again, the same thing. Solder them at the angle of the arm. So we're going to do like this. One. Two. And three. And then last but not least, we have our last motor here. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. All the soldering points are good. Everything is solid. And so now we can see how we're going to mount these. Perfect. Just like that. And so, all right, at this point, what we can do is we can, <clears throat> we're going to finish doing the motor work here real quick for this video series, right? And so one of the things we want to do is let's go ahead. And for that, we're going to need our tape and we're going to need a couple of the screws because I want to tape the motors down now. So, and I hate these bags. They don't ever open for me properly. But what I want to do here, is I'm going to dump these into one of the motor containers, and I just want two of the small screws, okay? So let's take this one, and let's take this one, all right? And we're going to start with, let's say, the back, start with motor number one, the back right one, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this motor down so that I can straighten the wires out and I can apply the tape. And this will be, this will end up getting that part, that portion of the build done. And don't crank these down, you're just getting it to hold the motor in place so don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to tighten these very much. Just kind of, just get in place. Now, here's the deal with the tape. I gave you excess tape this time, okay? And what I did is I used this here. This is a 45 uh, millimeter in length uh, uh, key shrink, okay? I haven't marked it as 45. I thought I drew it. Oh yeah, I did. It says right there, 45. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to measure the tape. Uh, this will work out smoother, much easier than before. I don't know why it's not wanting to go through, but I'm just going to feed this through just like that. Okay, and there it is. So when it comes out, 45, eh, right around it. I mean, just be close as you can. It's not. It's just so that we don't. We we can give you extra tape basically to use if you need something else. So, anyways, before we even tape it, now what we want to do is we're going to hold down the flight control with our finger and just grab with your screwdriver the, the end of your screwdriver. Just kind of gently work the wire down the arm till it starts straightening out. Okay, just like that. And what you'll notice is it'll kind of tuck underneath the board, but that wire is going to be perfectly straight then or very close or very clean. And then you take your tape. Okay. And you're going to flip this over and you're going to go right about midpoint, a little bit, a little bit less than midpoint. And you're going to wrap this around. And what you're looking to do is you're basically looking to wrap the tape right around near where the heat shrink ends on the motor from the manufacturer. So right there, and then just come back around and lay it back over on top of the exact same spot so it looks all symmetrical and uniform there. And you're done. You now have your line straight, your motor is taped, and now we're just, whoops, now we're just gonna do the rest of the motors, okay? So now you can unscrew this motor, take these screws out, because the motor's not gonna go anywhere now. Now that it's taped down, it's secured. So let's go to motor two, and we'll do the same thing. So let's go ahead and tape uh, screw motor two down here real quick. There you go. Then we'll come to this one here. There you go. And again, hold the board down and just gently walk the wire down the arm. Okay, it'll, it'll, it'll naturally start going pretty much in the direction you need it to, just like that. And then push them back in line. There you go. And then just lay your screwdriver on on there and just flatten it out. And look at that, you got nice straight line down the arm. And again, you take your tape, get another 45, and these screws are gonna get on my nerves. Get another 45 mil roughly, there you go. All right, take that tape out. And again, do the same thing, just lift the frame up, kind of get a feel for where that um, heat shrink ends, and then just wrap the tape around, just like that. Keep it as straight as you can. And then just have it come back around again for a second one. And there you go, look at that, look, it's so clean. I mean, everything just stays nice and clean and uniform, just like that. All right, so now you can take those screws out, This one we're going to repeat the same process again for motor three and motor four there we go I'm just going to cut this one and I'm also going to cut the next one so I can set this aside because now you're going to see how much excess tape you have. So that's pretty cool too because you may use it, you may use it for something else uh, on this build, but I'm just going to leave the excess tape there, okay? And now we'll go ahead and tape this motor, let's let's flatten it out, hold the, hold the, hold the uh, flight controller down and just walk the first wire, separate them here, there we go, and just kind of walk it down, there you go, there's one. And then there's two. And then here comes the third one right here. Okay. Once you get them all nicely in line, just kind of straighten them up down the arm. And flatten it out. And there you go. That is perfect. Let's tape it. Let's, let's tape it. There we go. Excellent. Now we only got one motor left. OK. 
Okay, so on this one, what we're gonna do is the same thing, just kind of walk the wires down. There we go. And just kind of get them in line with the arm itself right there, perfect. Now let's take our last piece of tape. Where did I put it? Is this it? Nope, it's right here, okay. Perfect. Guys, that's perfect. You get your stuff like this, you are set. You can take that screw out now, put it back in this piece here so that you don't lose them. And you are golden. Okay? So there you go. And there it is. So your motors are now on. Uh, they're not screwed down, obviously. We took the screws out, but they are ready to go. Um, so there you go. Everything looks clean and in line. So what we're going to do now is when we come back, we're going to start setting up the rest of the unit, which will be, we'll start with the VTX, and then we'll also do the receiver. But I'm going to show you a couple things on the receiver so that depending on what receiver you're going to use, uh, you'll be ready, okay? So we'll see you guys in just a minute.